Okay, drastic changes to the system. The eggplant is gone. I pulled up the spindly, uh, stringy tomato plants. I, they did have some nice suckers on them, so I had already had three suckers uh, started. I started three more, so there's six of them now. I'll probably just pick the best four and relocate those to the individual quadrants of this bed that I've got the wiring system in to help support them as they grow up. So that will be this bed. Uh, did have a couple strawberries in it, and I moved those to the tube system. Now, cucumbers, like I said, I'm going to try to leave and save them. I'm just going to bring the stuff that's still down up, tie it back to the fencing so I can flood this bed for a couple of days and drown everything. Supposedly 24 hours uh, flooded should kill any insects that are down in the gravel. So that's what I'm going to do. All the beds are going to get a minimum of 24 hours flooded, but I need to do it all at the same time. So I've got this bed is these two beds are the only beds that are in service right now all these other beds as you can see i pulled up i put a little adapter on the end of the line on this one and flooded it so the gravel's mostly underwater i'm going to get the gravel completely underwater even if i have to take some of it out uh, and smooth it out and then wash the other which is probably what i'll do i'll probably take the top layer off since it's got all the nastiness on it anyway and wash it with a hose and just let and then clean out the rest of the beds so these four have been emptied they're currently flooded i added water to the system um, so that tomorrow when i come out i can scoop off that top layer get everything below water and these beds i will just leave like that for a couple of days that should kill any of the gnat larvae there's and gnats that are still down in, in those rocks uh, the tomatoes and the cucumbers i'm pretty sure i can probably flood those beds for a day without hurting the plants so i'm going to try that with those beds because i need to eradicate these things once and for all um, you got to clean the they were all over the, the the piping the pvc tubing how nasty that end is with all that black stuff that's from the gnat larva you can see all the blackened areas down there on the two inch line that's running along especially up in there uh, that's from the gnat larva so we're going to clean all that stuff up we're going to wipe all the wood down probably with some clorox and uh, i'm going to spray the ground underneath and around the beds with some seven spray uh, i'm going to spray the in ground stuff with some seven spray uh, we did try to save the blackberries, some of them anyway. I uh, tried to put them in dirt to see if they'll survive the transition from being rooted in the aquaponics. Uh, like I said, that was just an experiment that I let go too long. Uh, they definitely root. You can start the blackberries very easily uh, by just cutting them and sticking them down in a grow bed. Uh, but the transition is always a, an issue. Uh, I've still got a couple of kale over here. That kale's looking pretty good. Uh, the collard greens that are looking pretty good. A little bit of browning on the leaves from when I smoked the greenhouse out the other day, but uh, they're still trying. Most of the stuff that's in the ground is going to be coming up as well because, I mean, you've got this little broccoli here that never really did much. It's real spindly, but it's got a head trying to form on it. Uh, way too early for it to be trying to form a head. But the plants are old enough that they should have been a lot bigger. It's just, I guess I didn't have enough in the soil for them they didn't get enough nutrients so like i said my fault and that i wasn't watering things the way i should have uh, because of my back it, after doing all the work to get the system going again i had put my my back in in, in a bind i've just had a real rough time uh, if you see the stringy stuff down here by this pvc that was the roots from the lettuce uh, the lettuce that was left in the net pots up in the tube system when i pulled it out of the tube system i through the lettuce or the the roots down here so that they would drain and let whatever nutrients were still trapped around them go into this soil uh, and once they're all kind of dried out and drained I'll, I'll pick them up and dispose of them but I went ahead and pulled everything out of the tube system as well so there's then I, the strawberries that were scattered throughout the system I turned out to be about four of them so I had the one that had berries on it that was already in the tube system. 
and then there were four more still alive in the various grow beds. And like I said, there's a couple of strawberry plants on the back side that are actually rooted down in the, the wood chips that are spread out back there from where they cascaded down uh, towards the end of the fall there. So, but those I can spray to kill anything that's on them with a poisonous spray because they're, they won't get into the water. And then I'll just do whatever I need to do with everything else. I guess I've got to eradicate this stuff somehow. It's just driving me crazy. Uh, it's not, they're not really down on the plants that are in the ground. They're only up in the grow beds. So I've got to eradicate it once and for all. It's, uh, every time I beat them back a little bit, they go back and then they, it's like they come back twice as strong. So this is all I can think of to do. So this is what we're doing, a radical restart. I've got seeds started for uh, what I want to replant, and so hopefully by next weekend uh, we can we'll have things cleaned up and ready to start replanting. So tomorrow we're going to kind of clean up all the piping, uh, start working on getting the gravel off or these four beds down here all flooded out. Uh, once I get them all flooded out, everything under the water. Then I'll worry about these two beds down here that have the cucumbers and tomatoes in them. I'll probably go ahead and get them flooded out, uh, let them stay flooded for a day, and then put them back into service. I'll probably leave these beds flooded until I get them cleaned out a little bit better. Uh, but that's the state of affairs. Uh, radical restart to try and keep things going. And it's mid, mid towards the end of January is an excellent time to be redoing all your your grow beds. Let me tell you. So, but all oh, those suckers look good though, don't they? Look at them. That one had a nice thick stem to it. Uh, that's going to be beautiful. This one was the same way. Really nice thick stem. Good growth on it. And these other ones will be fine now that they're in a position to start getting more light. So. I just got to get everything back here cleaned up and and restarted and try to get rid of all those stupid gnats. <laughs>